Have you ever wondered why the number pi seems to pop up everywhere in physics? I mean, it's easy to understand why it shows up in things like the area of a circle or circumference. It makes sense. But what about in other places? Like in formulas for electricity, gravity, light waves, quantum mechanics and even black holes. It seems like no matter how far you go in physics, whether it's the tiniest particles or the biggest galaxies, pi is always lurking somewhere in the equations. This isn't just a mathematical curiosity, it's actually pointing to something much deeper about how our universe is built. So in this video, we are going to explore why pi shows up so much in physics. We will look at what it really means, how it connects to the structure of space itself, and how it helps us understand everything from atoms to the cosmos. So sit back and let us dive deep into the mystery of pi. First, let us break a more common misconception. People think of pi as just that thing you used to calculate the area of a pizza. But in reality, pi is so much more than a number connected to circles. It's a fundamental constant that represents a relationship. Specifically, it represents the ratio between the distance around a perfect circle and the distance across it. That relationship is so precise and so essential that it shows up everywhere where there is rotation, cycles, waves or symmetry. And here's the trick. Nature is full of symmetry. Nature is full of cycles. And nature is very often structured in curved ways rather than in straight lines. So it shouldn't surprise us that a number connected to a curvature and cycles appears again and again. One of the main reasons pi appears so often in physics is because of symmetry. Many physical systems are symmetrical in some way. Think about a star. It radiates light and energy in all directions equally. That's a type of symmetry called spherical symmetry. The shape of a sphere is the natural result of something that behaves the same in all directions. When something in physics behaves the same in every direction, we often have to use mathematical tools that naturally include pi because we are dealing with circular or spherical shapes. Pi is built into the geometry of how space itself works. Even when we don't see a circle or a sphere, the symmetry is often still there, under the surface. It's not about the object being round, it's about how forces or fields spread out into space. When something spreads equally in all directions, it creates a sphere of influence. That's why Pi shows up. Even when it looks like there is no circle in sight. Another big area where pi shows up is in waves. Think about sound waves, light waves, water waves or even quantum waves. All of these are repeating cyclical patterns. And what do we use to describe cycles? We use angles. And we use functions like sine and cosine. Which are all based on circular motion. Even you are describing something moving in a straight line. Which vibrating or oscillating in any way there is a kind of hidden circular motion underneath. That's because these wave patterns are based on rotations in mathematical space. And again, rotations bring us back to the circles and circles bring us back to pi. So whenever there is a wave or vibration or repeating pattern, there is almost always going to be some trace of pi. And because waves are everywhere in physics, in sound, in light, in quantum particles, in electromagnetism, pi ends up being everywhere too. Let's move to another big area, fields. In physics, fields are used to describe how things like gravity and electricity affect space. A gravitational field shows how mass pulls on space. An electric field shows how charge influences space. These fields often spread out from a source in every direction. That means we need to understand how the effect spreads over the space. And guess what shape you can get when something spreads out equally in all directions, a sphere. Even though the force gets weaker as you go farther away, it still spreads in a spherical shape. And again, the geometry of a sphere includes pi. So anytime you are calculating how a field behaves, especially when it's spreading out in space, you are going to see pi. Now here is something that surprises people. Pi also shows up in statistics and probability, even if you are not doing anything with circles. One famous example is the bell curve. It's that smooth symmetrical shape that shows up when you graph the probability of different outcomes, 
like heights in a population or errors in measurement the math behind the bell curve includes pi why because even though you are not looking at circles the shape is symmetrical and has certain mathematical properties that connects back to circular motion and wave behavior again pi sticks in through the back door and this is and this is just for statistics in quantum mechanics where we describe particles using probability waves pi shows up all over the place because those waves are cyclical and they are related to things like energy levels and frequencies pi becomes essential in describing them now let's go deeper let's talk about the actual shape of a space if space were flat and infinite and empty maybe we shouldn't see pi so much but space is in flat space can curve it can stretch it can be filled with energy and our tools for measuring space motion and energy are deeply tied to geometry in fact modern physics especially general relativity describes gravity not as a force but as a bending of space and time and to measure bending we need geometry to understand the geometry of curved space pi becomes essential so at the deepest levels pi is not just about the round objects it's about how space itself is structured it's built into the way very way the universe allow things to move to vibrate and to interact there is also a philosophical side to this pi is a mathematical constant it's not just a number where we came up with to make circles easier it's a number that appears naturally in the structure of mathematics itself and because physics is trying to describe reality using math it makes sense that constants like pi show up they are part of the language of nature when we describe how things behave with precision we try to capture the exactness of the universe math is our tool and pi is one of the core idea in that tool set so why does pi shows up everywhere in physics because the universe is deeply structured it's full of symmetry cycles waves and curvature these are the things pi is all about pi is a bridge between the abstract world of mathematics and the real world of motion energy matter and space even when we don't see circles we are often working with systems that behave in circular or spherical ways whether it's how a force spreads how a wave moves how a particle vibrates or how a field interacts pi is there so the next time you see pi in physics don't just think about geometry think about how the deep symmetry of the universe think about the hidden patterns that connect space time and energy think about how even the simplest looking laws of nature are built on layers and layers of beautiful precise structure and at the heart of so much of that structure is pi